Okay, let's do an example of a classification of a soil using the Unified Soil Classification System, the USCS. We're given a grain size distribution of the soil, and we're also given here that the Atterberg limits of the relevant portion, that is the finer portion, of course, are 49, that's the liquid limit, and 33, that's the plastic limit, right? Remember that these two are water contents expressed in percent. Okay, what we're going to do first is realize that we can determine quickly the plasticity index, which is simply the liquid limit minus the plastic limit. This is 16. Okay, the plasticity index gives us an indication of the plasticity of the soil. That is the finer portion of the soil. Okay, the next thing that we have to do, and that's for every um, classification um, problem that we do, is that we have to find the percentage of fines. So, the percentage of fines in our soil is the percent of the soil, that is of the mass of the soil, that is composed of grains smaller than 0 0.075 millimeters, right? Less than 0 0.075 millimeters, that is, if the diameter is smaller than this, the particle is fine. And if the diameter is larger than that, the particle is coarse. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we go here to the log scale, and we read where the 0 0.075 millimeter mark is. So let's zoom in. Point zero 0.01, point zero 0.02, point oh 0.03, point oh 0.04, point oh 0.05, point oh 0.06, point oh 0.07, seven, point oh 0.08. 7 and 8, right? Point oh 0.07 and point oh 0.08. So point zero 0.075 is not at the center, but a little bit to the right. Okay? And remember, we are approximating, so to be close enough is okay. All right. So now what we do is we take that point and we draw a vertical line up so that until it touches our grain size distribution. Okay? And then we read the percentage. 65%. So our soil is 65% fines. Right? And that means that 35%, so therefore, 35%, this makes 100 obviously, is coarse. Okay, very simple. So, we have more fines than coarse, right? The fines content is more than 50%. This is the fines content, 60%, 65%. It is more than 50%, therefore our soil is fine. Our soil is fine grained, even though it has coarse grains in it. Okay, that's this side of the grain size distribution. This is the coarse portion, this way. And from here, fine portion. Okay, so what do we do if the soil is fine? If the soil is fine, because more than 50% of the soil is composed of fines, then what we do is we simply utilize our liquid limit and plasticity index and map those numbers on the plasticity chart. Okay? So our liquid limit was given as 49. This is 50, 49 is here, right? So we can draw a vertical line there. And our plasticity index is 16. This is 15, 16 is there. So our point lands right there. It lands in the region called ML. That means that our soil, the answer, oops, answer is that our soil is an ML. 
low plasticity silt. Okay, now just for um, completeness here, if our soil point had landed somewhere over here in this region, this would be a high plasticity silt. In this region here, high plasticity clay. In this region, low plasticity clay. And in this small little region here, it's called a CLML, which means that it is a soil that behaves somewhat in the middle, let's say, between CL and ML, meaning that it has some CL-like properties and also some ML-like properties. That's this little region here. Okay? But notice, again, the Atterberg limits were given for the finer portion. We, find, we found that the percentage of fines is more than 50, 65% in this case, meaning that we can neglect the rest of the grain size distribution for classification purposes and simply use the plasticity chart to characterize our soil. It is an ML because we plotted the point here.